Hey everybody, I'm back at you with another uh, pod review here. After a little hiatus, just took a little break. Uh, some of the pods I had got soft and it's been kind of chilling for a few days, but I'm back at it with another box from Craig. Craig Richardson over at Apocalypse Peppers. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it, man. Some nice looking pods. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing the Naga Viper. And that is a badass looking pepper. Look at that thing. I've been wanting to do one of these for a while. I've never done one. All these pod reviews I've had, I've never got a hold of one of these. And I specifically grew it this year. I grew a couple of them this year and uh, lost them. Lost them both to, uh, um, what do you call it, damping off. And just a fungal infection down in the bottom of the stem and lost them. So George Payne, good friend of mine, sent me a couple of small plants to replace them, which was really cool. One of them's doing really good, one of them's doing eh. The other one, the one's gonna do really good. It's finally taken off and going, but it's not nearly big enough to get pods yet, so they were they're way behind. So, it's kinda cool that Craig sent this one because I won't get a chance to do one for till way much later in the season. Uh, this pepper, I don't know if any all of you know what this is. This was uh, was a record holder for a little while, right before the butch tea. I think it's about a little over 1.3 million this was measured at. And if I'm not mistaken, which I very well might be, it is a cross between a boot, a nagamorich, and a scorpion. Take it for what it is. I don't know if it's that's what I read. I've never talked to anybody or the person, I think it may be Gerald Fowler, I think possibly created this. I don't know firsthand, but that's what I read about it. Wow, it's killer looking inside. Look at that. A lot of placenta. Pretty cool looking, huh? A bunch of placenta in this half. Holy crap. And the shape, if you look at the shape, the ones I've always seen did not have such a pronounced tail. That pushed in tail like a scorpion. Didn't have that, the ones I saw. It came kind of more down, more like a boot at the top. Kind of came gnarling down, kind of to a curved point. This one's got more of a Trinidad scorpion uh, traits in it. So, it's kind of cool, but we shall see what it tastes like. Kind of curious on the flavor of it. I don't see a lot of people really reviewing these. Don't know why if it's as hot as it should be. Should be being reviewed then. I don't know why nobody grows it. Some of those over there. That side didn't have any seeds at all. Oops, shit. Shot it on my shirt. I haven't taken a little hiatus. I just kind of wasn't in the mood, really, to be honest with you. The pods I had weren't really fresh anymore, and I didn't really want to eat mushy pods. And I, don't, I just can't stomach it, man. It just gags me. And uh, my plants, I had a hell of a time with them, like I, just, I think I talked about in my last video. So it kind of bummed me out, just really pissed me off. So I wasn't really in the mood. Lost the mojo. But, I'm getting back into it. There. Well, there wasn't a lot of seeds in there, probably 20, 23, 24, maybe. Yep. So, there you go. Left it all intact. Oh, wow, it smells. Uh... Oh, that's got a lot of boot smell in there. It's got boot smell, but it's not as, um, not quite as perfumey, but it's there. The smell's there. Wow, it smells like boot without the perfumeness in it, and, uh, sweet. It smells a little sweeter. Hopefully it is. Yeah, I hope it is. I'm not sure it doesn't smell that sweet. All right, all I know is it's a kick-ass specimen, man. Look at that thing, look at the bottom of that. I just love the way that looks. All right, guys, here goes. Finally get a shot at the Naga Viper. Thanks, Greg.
<coughs> wow. Huge fumes. <coughs> Almost choked me. flavor. Mm. Packs some heat. It's really thick. I can't believe how thick the walls were on that pepper. I didn't even really look close at it. I probably should have. Ooh, wow. It's got a bite to it. Wow. Really hot. I'll tell you what. That's a tasty pepper. Wow, really thick. Kind of had a little hints of like red bell in it. That's what I, that's the smell I was getting. It's exactly what it smelled like. <sighs> wow. Here it comes. It's slowly ramping up. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I thought I got out of them right there. No such luck. <clears throat> wow, what a great flavor. Oh boy. It's a coming. some deep hiccups. <clears throat> wow. <sighs> wow. <sighs> oh, it's a really slow burn. Oh, it's taking a while to build. It's not it's not like shocking heat right away. Which is kind of nice actually. It's just all over my tongue. Just the very top of my throat, but not bad. The tongue. Ooh, lighten it up. And under the tongue. It's like one of the most painful places to burn. I'll talk about it as soon as I know I'm not going to hiccup. Still ramping up. Wow. Okay, I think they're gone. Wow. It's all over my cheeks now and my gums. <clears throat> Thankfully, not all the way down my chest. <clears throat> it's got a burn. Hard to explain. It's got a burn kind of like a scorpion, more like a scorpion, but it builds like a boot. It doesn't have that boot throat shit going on, at least not yet. It's there, it's right at the top. <clears throat> I'm hoping it stays right the hell there. But the flavor was fantastic. A lot of meat on that pepper. Really, really thick. One of the thicker peppers I've eaten and very sweet sweet and vegetably at the same time <clears throat> like a bell pepper that's how I would explain uh, describe a, a red bell it's kind of sweet but it's still got that vegetable-y flavor that's what it had very pleasant it's very rare that you uh, can say that about a, a really super hot pepper most of them are pretty hard to eat whole flavor wise I try to think about what I can, what I would do with them cooking. I can't always articulate it while I'm on fire, but that's what's in my head is where it can, where I could use it, what it would be good in. That one you could put down here anywhere. 
better make a great powder because there's a ton of meat on there. <clears throat> you can get a lot out of it. The burn is, uh, it's already peaked. It's not getting any worse, it's just right in the mouth. I mean, now it's behind my lips, on my gums, top of my tongue is just like sticking your tongue on a skillet hot. But under my tongue's going away, it's mostly right on my tongue and the back of my lips and gums. The flavor's still there. Actually, totally still there. Can t completely taste it still. Really nice tones to that one. That would be a killer sauce pepper, I'm telling you. Because it's got the level of heat you need. I'm surprised that one didn't really kick my ass around the block. I was kind of expecting it after four or five days off, whatever it's been. Oh, my salivary glands are going crazy. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, that wouldn't be good at anything. Oh. Ooh. It's not really coming down too fast. It peaked, but it's hanging. It's got a really nice burn. Excellent burn. It actually feels good. It isn't like hurting to the point of just severe pain. It's just burning. Well, I think I'm going to end this one. Go and drink the other half of my elixir just to make sure that it doesn't curl me up later. Thanks again, Craig, for lighting me up, brother. <laughs> I appreciate it. That was a really tasty one. I'm glad I finally got a chance to try it now. I'm really looking forward to having that one produced before the end of the year. You guys go check them out. It's Craig Richardson or Apocalypse Peppers. I'll put his links down below. Great guy. I appreciate the pepper buds, or peppers bud, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.